When was the last time you were put on hold? Or asked for a callback number in case the line was disconnected? You're probably thinking of maybe the last time you called your bank, or maybe when you ordered that pizza last week, if you're one of the few people that still don't do that on a mobile application. <laughs> but what if I told you that these things are common when you call 911? That's right. I'm here to tell you that 911 is obsolete. And no, this is not a shot at the amazing first responders and 911 dispatchers that work tirelessly every day to save lives. I'm talking about the infrastructure that's meant to support their jobs, the technology and the processes. You see, 911 was built on a landline infrastructure. If you remember what those are. <laughs> and it still operates primarily on that infrastructure, despite more than 70% of their 240 million phone calls that come in every year coming from cellular devices. In fact, if you were to call 911 from your cell phone right now and you could not talk, help will not show up. And even if you could talk, you're gonna spend the first two to five minutes giving them a bunch of basic information that we all do in a matter of seconds when we call an Uber or we order a package from Amazon today. In fact, the FCC themselves estimate that more than 10,000 people die every year because of 911's inability to locate the caller. This is crazy when you think about we can get everything at a push of a button these days, but when we need help in an emergency, we're expected to pick up our phones, dial 911, and hang out on the line until help arrives. That's why we created SafeTrek. And we wanted SafeTrek to do two things that filled critical gaps in 911's functionality. One, be a bridge between doing nothing and calling 911 when you feel unsafe. Because think of all the situations that you've been in where you felt unsafe, but you don't necessarily have a concrete reason to call 911. But you should still be able to be proactive with your safety when your gut is telling you something isn't right. Thank you. Secondly, we wanted to guarantee that we could get help to your exact location whether that's police, EMS, or fire, at the push of a button anywhere in the United States, even in situations where you can't talk or text. Now, it works like this. When you feel unsafe, you launch your app, you put your thumb down on the button, when you get to your car, you feel safe again, you enter in your pin, nothing happens. Now, if something happens where your finger comes off that button and you don't enter in the pin, we get you help. It's that simple. Now this map behind me is usage of SafeTrack in the United States since we launched four years ago. We've had more than 75,000 miles trekked with people holding their thumb down on the button and we've handled more than 40,000 real emergencies. This data is the first of its kind, showing not just where crime has happened or people have been in emergencies, but also showing the perception of safety, when and where people feel unsafe in our communities. And the possibilities are endless of what can be done with this data optimizing police patrols based on perception, not just where unpredictable crime occurs, and also identifying hotspots before they even become problem areas. Here's a map of our own backyard of safe track usage in St. Louis. And one of our favorite partners, Washington University, is already using this data to improve perception of safety for their students, faculty, and staff. And we're just scratching the surface of use cases of this data, and we're very excited to see what the future holds. Our purpose from the very beginning has been to protect and comfort people so that they can live freely. 
Notice how there's nothing in that statement about how we go about executing on that purpose. Up until this point, it's been primarily through our flagship mobile application. But we live in a world, thanks to technology, where we're experiencing the craziest and most rapid cycles of change ever than before. And so at SafeTrack, we're already preparing for a world where your cell phone and mobile applications are obsolete. And that's why I'm excited to talk to you about our connected safety concept, where SafeTrack can be connected to everyday products and services in your life that allow us to detect that you're in an emergency in new ways, faster and more effective than ever before, and get you help even when you can't do that for yourself. Imagine a world where SafeTrack is connected to your health wearable, and we can send an ambulance to your exact location when you detect that you have a heart attack. Or imagine a world where we can check in on you when you deviate from your normal route when you're running alone in the park at night. Or how about your car when you get in an accident and we can be sending first responders to the scene faster than you ever could if you were to call. And even in our homes, when we detect that there's smoke, dangerous carbon dioxide levels, or even a scream. The crazy thing about this is these aren't just concepts. We're already working on these, and we'll be rolling them out over the course of this next year. And this is what personal safety of the modern world is going to look like. And we're excited to be at the frontier to define it. Finally, I want to say that we do what we do because we want to make the world a safer place. And the hundreds of stories we hear from our users every day are what keep us going. So I want to leave you with two testimonials to remind you that there are people out there right now that need help and aren't getting it. My ex-boyfriend threatened to kill me unless I went with him. We went inside a nearby jack-in-the-box and I locked myself in the bathroom. I activated your app to get help and someone immediately texted and called me. I told them what was going on. She contacted the police and kept me calm as he started kicking and trying to get through the door. If I didn't have safe track, he would have hurt me. I was mugged at gunpoint in October. I work nights, and it wasn't even an unusual time for me to be out when it happened. Your app is the only reason I will work nights or go anywhere alone. Thank you.